I feel inclined to share about the dynamics of seed. Seed spelled as S double E D. The dynamics of seed makes it easy to lose and despise the future because it's a very sensitive principle that follows the process of trickles. Seed sowing does not usually give us instant result. It is the principle that is founded by God, the principle that requires that you have faith. The flesh is hasty. It wants you to sow a seedling by morning today and anticipates to eat the maize corn by the end of that day. And when most people or many people don't hear, don't get that result, the throw in the towel, the giving, the give up rather, and look for quicker means. Some people want that profit, I'm included, <laughs> to lay his hand on their head or that theater of God or whatever anointing or whatever grace that you desire. And by the end of that week, they want to be able to manifest at his level. It was as just when I was, it was about when, like the same way when I was learning hair making. My boss was an expert. She was very good. And I wished that I would be able to weave and style hair the way she did by the end of that week. You and I agree that it's not always realistic. But you must be willing to sew. You will not always get instant result. But you must be willing to sew, to have patience, to nurture it with discipline and care. And then, the dynamics of seed requires that you accept that you will not always see the end of the stairs. You will not always see the end of the stairs. But you sow anyway because you have the support of God. It was as though when I was learning when I wrote my book and I have a few people that will quickly ask me, did you make profit? Well, I, I know that day that was out of care and love, but I know when people were asking because they thought the intention was profit. I said, I have obeyed the instruction. I have sown the seed and that is what is important. I, have, I would feel worse years down the line if I remember that I had that instruction and I did not obey it. It was a matter of sowing seed. If profit comes into play, which is secondary, by all means. I'm someone saying that young lady, come on, be realistic over there. Well, that's the case for me. The beautiful thing about dynamics of seed is that to become something negative or to become nothing in life, it follows the same principle. You will be sowing the seed of doing nothing. You will be sowing the seed of fun to become something intangible or irrelevant in life. Never find yourself not sowing. You may be disappointed when you sow that seed, when you made the hot call and just one person responded to your hot call. But that one person may be destined to shake their own generation. Because seed sowing usually have usually has ripple effects. It's the dynamics of seed sowing. A book today, another tomorrow, and your knowledge is increased. Many people can't wait to follow the process. They're saying, come on, when will I be as good as that person? People who have I mean, who have, yeah, who have taken over the market, like my friend Toby said, who have paid their own dues. But the truth is, you become something anyway. You become someone who knows, who does not know, rather. Who does, so whether you sow or not, you become something. Never find yourself not sowing. And yes, make sure you are sowing appropriately. Try with the desperation that you want to become or meet up to the level of people who have walked that path for years with that desperation if you become if it was possible to be them in that same day or that same week don't you think that it would be life would be unfair life could be unfair so you follow your track stay on your track stay on your lead but make sure that you're sowing never find yourself not sowing reverend arigu once said that don't just be a student of privileges and benefits but be a student of processes and responsibilities and like i would usually say as well if it is void of process it is most likely, most likely that it is void of God. Never find yourself not sowing. It was the same way that I was unintentionally sowing the seeds of junks. When, as a young person, back at home or when I was way younger, I would say, let mommy enjoy the TV. Let her not get bored. Let's watch African magic, so she, African magic so she can feel good. And yes, we were watching it until I got to class years later during master's degree. And we're supposed to be talking about Greek, Christ, Greek crisis and some things on the news. And I knew nothing, apparently. I had not been sowing appropriately. I had not been sowing into the paths that I was interested in in the future. So never find yourself not sowing. Make sure that you're sowing appropriately. That will be all for today. I'm not singing today. Maybe some other time. Never find yourself not sowing. Have a good day. Bye.